My name is Dwayne Kaiser and I'm a painter from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, you might know my work from my a Painting a Day project, which I started in 2004. Uh, for that project, I make a painting each day. Uh, they were usually on the small side, like four by six, five by six inches or so. And I would post that painting to my blog where I would offer it for sale. Now at the time, this was a pretty novel idea, using the internet to sell paintings directly to collectors rather than through a gallery was fairly new at the time. And so not long after it began, uh, the project went viral, uh, really before I even understood what viral meant. And in the years that followed, a movement of sorts kind of developed with painters from all over the world emulating the idea and putting their own spin on it. Now the subject of my paintings tended to be uh, vignettes from my life, just the things that were around me. And I would carry a small cigar box easel with me wherever I went. And when I saw something interesting or beautiful, I'd stop to paint it. And so my subject matter could vary wildly. One day it might be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and the next it might be a lightning storm in Santa Fe. It depended on where I was and what I was doing. Uh, my project continues today, though it's not quite a painting each day anymore. It's maybe a few a week. And what most of these paintings have in common is that they are all done, for the most part, not all of them, most of them are done premier coup, which means, literally translated, means uh, first strike or a one session painting. And since I began my project, I've painted thousands of such paintings. And my video course uh, includes a lot of what I've learned in that time. I think premier coup painting is a lot like jazz in the sense that it can be both loose and precise and combine elements of the modern and the traditional. The brevity of one session painting is both a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, it wakes you up and it forces you to look really carefully. And from this kind of intense attention, I think comes new ways of seeing and painting. On the other hand, it also requires you to juggle a lot of different elements on the fly. In other words, it requires you to think with your brush and to improvise. And therein lies the rub, I think, for, for most people because improvisation for most is like uh, about as enjoyable as closing your eyes and taking your hands off the steering wheel. But we improvise every day. And conversation, for instance, is a kind of improvisation. When you talk with someone, there's no script. There's a time to listen and a time to talk. Um, you don't know what's going to come out of the other person's mouth, and half the time you don't know what's going to come out of your own mouth. And I think premier coup painting is a kind of conversation too. It's a silent dialogue uh, between yourself and your subject. And my approach to teaching premier coup painting focuses on that dialogue, on the underlying issues of painting within the confines of a moment rather than on just mere surface effects. I think all artists go through a stage where they're obsessed with the techniques and styles of other painters and learning how to emulate them. Uh, it's really how we begin to learn what our materials can and can't do. And it's a way to get closer to the artists that we respect and admire, too, I think. I mean, it's exciting to pretend to be Rembrandt or Monet for a few hours and to copy their style and techniques. But it's important to remember um, that the styles of the great painters grew out of their struggle to realize their own unique vision of the world. And I think with a lot of painters, this obsession with method and techniques often becomes a replacement for the struggle to find their own vision. And I think many how-to courses and books cultivate the notion that there's a, a technique out there or a method that will unlock their potential as painters. And they teach styles as though they are Instagram filters that you apply to your painting instead of a photograph. And like an Instagram filter, they're fun and maybe even a little creative, but they certainly don't make you a significantly better painter in a short period of time. In fact, they can often make your painting kind of impersonal and mechanical. You kind of lose yourself. Uh, my video course explores the fundamentals of Premier Coup painting rather than the surface effects. And through a series of short lectures, exercise, and real-time demos, and at the end of it, what I call uh, a painting a day challenge, I'll show you some of the core lessons of what I've learned over the last 30 years of painting Premier Coup. One of the things that I really enjoy about teaching my premier coup workshops around the country is the variety of students that I get. There can be novices who come into the class who haven't painted in, say, 10 years, 
and they're just looking to reintroduce themselves to painting. And this is really a great class for that because there's no specialized techniques that are required and no expensive materials. So they can just dive right in. And I also have more experienced painters that come in and they're maybe in a rut and they just want to kind of shake things up a little bit, loosen up their brushwork. I'll get students who come in who are very methodical painters. They typically take two or three months to finish a painting. They use small brushes, indirect painting, and they're just, they're not coming into the class to become Premier Coup painters necessarily. They're coming in to add a little flexibility to the process. And of course, I'll get a lot of Premier Coup specialists who come in that are just looking for a new uh, take on the subject. And I think I can um, offer that. Thanks for watching.